Hi, I'm Michelle Birch. I'm the owner of Candle Cocoon, and I'm here to show you some techniques on how to wick a candle. If you can look down here, I have a couple of things that I can show you. Um, this is a pretty basic one. This is foam, and you'll either see it like this or on a piece of paper. And what you do is you would peel back a layer that exposes the sticky foam part, and you would take your wick. We use a 12 inch wick that you can cut and re-tab so you can get more uses out of it. And we put a straw on it to help give a little more support. And so you take your, your, your tab end and you press it firmly onto the little piece of foam. And then you take off the other piece of paper and you would firmly apply it into your your jar candle. Now, when you're doing this, if you're using anything that's used and not new, you're going to have a little more problem with adhesion. Um, and that really kind of goes, goes for the glue dots as well. Our glue dots are actually specially made for candles, but they really work great in an unwaxy cup. Um, if you are using used cups, I would wash it out really, really great with hot soap and water uh, if you're reusing soy cups. If you're using paraffin cups, it gets a little hard. But it's this, work with it the same way. Like this. Snip that off. And we re-tab. Putting it in there like that. And where did my pliers go? Pause it. All right, and so when you're retabbing, you just take your tab and your pliers and do that, and you have your new tab put on your wick. And again, we string it through the straw, and you want to press really hard onto the glue dot. That's what helps it adhere. It's pressure sensitive. And so then you just peel that off, and then again, you would press that down really hard, and see the, the plastic, the straw, really helps push it on better. And so you would adhere it like that. So, those are two decent ways of doing it. Like I said, the candle dots are great if your jar has not had any wax in it. But, the best way to tab and wick a candle is with hot glue. Yeah. <laughs> this will actually adhere pretty well to a used glass. And so you just put on a great big blob of wax. Oopsie. And see this is a little more sensitive and you get wax off glue all over the place. And press it into the middle of your jar, assuming you are using a jar, and set it that way. So those are how we set our wicks. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, contact us at Candle Cocoon. Have a good day.